Hey guys, it's Janice from Ozark Family Homestead and I have finished up our family's grocery shopping for the week where I study the sale ads and I do my tabulations and figure up the loss leaders for the week. What's that? What's that? You got bananas? Okay. I have my helpers here. <laughs> so uh, figured up the loss leaders for the week, did the shopping just based on those loss leaders to try to stretch our grocery budget. For those of you that are new, we are a family of nine. We have seven children, ages 18 down to the two-year-old, three-year-old, she turned three, three-year-old. And uh, our grocery budget is $1,100 a month to cover all of our food from the grocery store and paper products. And that breaks down to roughly $122 per person for the month. And what I do is I do a big monthly stock up at the beginning of the pay period. And then each week I study the sale ads and I go in and get the best of the best deals. And that's how I stretch our family's budget. So I share these grocery hauls each week to let you know what was on sale and the good deals that I found. I do want to point out, those of you that watched last week's video, if you remember, there were some things that I went to go get because they were super good deals and the stores were out of stock. Well, we went back into town later that week for a birthday party and ran by the stores and they had them back in stock. So um, I did not film that grocery haul, but I was able to get, I'm looking at my clipboard down here, guys. I was able to get uh, 10 pounds of chicken leg quarters, 40 pounds of navel oranges. Oh, I don't even remember how many bags of Markdown salad mixes at Kroger. Five 18 count eggs. We have chickens and all that, but these were on sale. And the children, my older children had biology labs to do that required eggs. And I didn't want to use farm fresh eggs. I wanted to use store eggs. So we got those eggs that were on sale. And then I found some chips on Markdown as well. And I paid out of pocket on that unfilmed trip, $67.15, which means what we're starting at today is $662.46. And I'm gonna go through all the items back here on the table and show you what I purchased and the sale ads so that hopefully you can take advantage of the sales too. We'll go item by item, store by store. Here we go. Bye. 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 All right, we're gonna start down here at the end of the table at Tin Box. Tin Box, a lot of you may not be familiar with it. It's a local chain of grocery stores in my area. They, um, they kind of market themselves as a warehouse store. So they do add 10% onto your receipt when you check out just so they can make a profit. So they say, but um, I only go in to get the loss leaders here in Tin Box. I do not buy regular priced items off the shelf because I feel like their prices are too high. So this is usually my smallest haul of all the stores that I go to each week. Um, I do want to point out that these sales are good through Tuesday, February 6th. So if you have any of these same sales at your local Tin Box, Aldi, or Kroger, Make sure you pick those up before they end, Tuesday, February 6th. Um, one item, I meant to get this, and again, they were out of stock. This uh, beef chuck roast, $3.97 a pound. And just as a comparison, at Walmart, they are selling for $6.47 a pound. So I do already have beef in my freezer, but at this price, we go through roasts and ground beef quite a bit. So if I can get a good price on roasts, I will go ahead and get some of those and just put them in my rotation. That way they're just sitting in the freezer waiting for me when I need them. And I can pay this price instead of this price later on whenever I'm totally out of what's in the freezer. They also have their Roma tomatoes on sale this week for 78 cents a pound. As comparison at Walmart, those are $1.28 a pound. And I just picked up five. Um, we'll just add these to salads or I don't know. Roma tomatoes for me keep very well in my refrigerator. So these should last for several weeks for me usually. On the other side of the ad, 
They do have the green grapes for $1.48 a pound. I did not pick any of those up, but at Walmart, the comparable price is $2.38 a pound there. And then the chicken drumsticks. I was able to get those leg quarters last week at 10 bucks, and uh, those were actually 50 cents per pound, but um, the drumsticks were 72 cents a pound this week. I did go and pick up roughly 10 pounds of those drumsticks. I like to keep these on hand for grilling. Um, we also have a crock pot meal that calls for drumsticks. And so I do like to always keep some of these on hand in our freezer. As a comparison at Walmart, their drumsticks are $1.17 per pound. And the last item here at 10 bucks that I saw was the 73% ground beef for $2.27 a pound. By comparison at Walmart, it's selling for $2.84 a pound. I did not pick up any of that this week. I've been holding out and just getting the 80% whenever it's on sale. And uh, I'm doing pretty good keeping a good stock by uh, going with the 80% instead of the 73%. But those of you that are needing it, go ahead and take advantage of these while they're on sale. My grand total for this little haul at 10 bucks this week was only $10.58. So then we'll move on to Aldi and see what I was able to get there. All right, Aldi's sale ad was not too impressive this week. There was only one item that really jumped out at me, the avocados. I figured with the Super Bowl coming up, there would probably be avocado sales here in the next couple weeks. Uh, 59 cents each is what they're currently going for this week at my Aldi. And at my local Walmart, their uh, comparable price is 78 cents each there. So I did pick up 20 of them. Uh, we'll typically use 15 for guacamole for a supper for our family. And then we'll have a little bit of extra to use here and there on a salad or whatnot. So 20 of those. I do want to point out, so last week, whenever I went back into the stores to pick up the sale items, this was the uh, sale on chips that I was able to go ahead and get. So that is a good price. Um, we had a church gathering over here and I made a veggie dip for everyone. And I was gonna pick up the wavy chips anyhow for that dip. But when I got there, I saw that they were on markdown. So I got you know just an extra bag while they were on sale. So you might wanna go ahead and pick those up this week um, if you're needing that item. While I'm in the store, while I'm in Aldi, I go ahead and go up and down the aisles and I'm looking for the red tags. My Aldi uses red tags when an item is on markdown. And I saw the Gala apples there. These are three pound bags. I did not see them in my ad anywhere. So, never mind. I see them right now. How did I miss this? I did not write this down on my paper, but here they are in the ad. <laughs> But when I was walking through the store, I saw the red tag and I thought, oh, that's a really good deal on those three pound bags. $1.99 for the three pound bag. <laughs> I don't know how I missed that, guys. Um, I did pick up two of them. I do have some Gala apples already in the refrigerator. Children can snack on them. And I'm just going to put these in the rotation as well. First in, first out. So that the oldest items are always getting eaten up first. Um, at Aldi, like I said, $1.99, and at Walmart, those are selling for $3.86 for a three-pound bag. So that is a good deal, and this variety of apple keeps well in my refrigerator as well. So I do not mind stocking up for a month's worth if I can get a really good price per pound, and we just eat on them here and there until the next sale comes around, and then we stock up again. So my uh, big total at Aldi this week was $16.72. And then lastly, we'll go to Kroger. And I always find surprises at Kroger, it seems like, lately. So we'll look those over next. All right, so at Kroger, in the sale ad this week, first of all, always clip that coupon for the four times the fuel points if you're doing your shopping on Friday. That is an easy-peasy way of getting fuel in your vehicle for less than you would typically pay. So I encourage you to take advantage of that good, good deal. Uh, also, down here at the bottom, occasionally Kroger does the good sales on their peanut butter. 
and these are the 16 ounce little jars of it for 99 cents. This is a digital coupon, so you'll have to clip it, and there is a limit of five of these. As a comparison at Walmart, this same size of their great value brand sells for $1.84. So a good savings there. I did get the limit of five. And I just, again, just like the other food, I put these in the rotation. I will write down the expiration date in Sharpie on the front of this. And this will go to the back of my stockpile of peanut butter. And we just rotate through it. Buy it on sale when I already have a surplus. And that way it's there for me and I'm never paying full price because I'm totally out of something. Okay, what else was in the ad here? Oh, I did not pull out the cheese. Hold on, guys. I got to pull this out of the refrigerator. Ta-da! There's the cheese. I don't know how I forgot it, guys. <laughs> okay, so the cheese is on sale at Kroger this week, you guys. It's right here in the ad. $2.99 for a one pound block of cheese, which is a good deal because comparable at Walmart, that same size is going to be $3.68. So it is a good deal. It is a digital coupon. There is a limit of five, just like on the peanut butter. So I did go ahead and pick up five. The expiration dates on these are always several months out. What does this say? July of 2024. And this is end of January, beginning of February, and uh, so we will have these used up in plenty of time before they expire in the refrigerator. Just like everything else, we put these to the back and we use the oldest items first. So this is all that I found that was actually in the sale ad this week. Nothing else really jumped out at me, but whenever I'm in Kroger, there are areas I always check out and they worked out well this week. I always check the salad section. They're in the produce department. And here lately, these salad kits have been on markdown. And they've been really good deals. And this really is a good supplement for our lunches because we also keep canned chicken on hand. Some purchased canned from the store and some that we have home canned ourselves. And these are regular right at $4 per bag at Walmart. So these markdown prices, just look for these stickers. I've gotten to where they just jump out at me whenever I am walking by. And I will go ahead and pick some of these up for our family. And uh, we're really enjoying these. So check out the salad section. At the end of the produce department, mine will have bins and sometimes a whole cart of markdown produce and they had a big cart of bananas this week. These were marked down to 29 cents a pound for these bananas that are extremely ripe. Um, as a comparison, at my Aldi, they're currently 46 cents a pound, I believe. So these were 29 cents a pound. Uh, these will be either put into the freezer. We're eating a lot of smoothies lately, so going through frozen bananas in those smoothies, but banana bread, banana muffins, these will be used up in no time. So I like getting a good deal on those. And then I also check, there is a clearance section in my Kroger. It's in the same aisle as the light bulbs, some houseware items. And this week I found these grain-free tortilla chips. They, um, at Walmart, they're regular right, of, right at $5 per bag for their grain-free tortilla chips there. And these three bags are marked down to $1.89 each. So very good deal for those, even cheaper than I think I can get the cauliflower version of chips at Aldi. That $1.89 beats that Aldi price even. So um, I do wanna point out there's some extra deals here. Oh, I hope you guys can read my handwriting here. My handwriting's awful, but um, some extra deals. So um, four times the fuel points whenever you purchase gift cards through February 20th. So that is a digital coupon. You will need to clip that coupon to get that deal. Um, it is an awesome, awesome deal. Um, any restaurant stores, there's such a variety. I get Amazon gift cards is what I choose to get for our family. I buy them. I put them in a drawer. I get four times the fuel points, so I get cheaper gas in our vehicles. And then those Amazon gift cards are waiting for us whenever I need to buy something for our family or give gifts to other people 
if we have birthday parties or something like that. Um, I had another coupon on there. Spend $70 and get $8 off your purchase. And that is only good through February 3rd. So I did not utilize that this week. I did not hit the $70. But if you're getting a larger order from Kroger, check to see if you have that coupon available for yourself. And then the last coupon is good through March 3rd. So you've got a while there. Save $6 on a $30 purchase in the produce department. And I am positive that I will hit $30 in produce at some point in time before March 3rd. If they have another sale on those uh, navel oranges, <laughs> I should be able to hit that mark pretty quickly. My grand total at Kroger for this week was $46.64. So what we will do now is we're going to sit down with my clipboard and calculate everything that I spent this week. And we are going to deduct that from my $1,100 a month budget and see where am I sitting at now? What is the remainder I have for this month, for this pay period? And what do I still need to buy with the amount that's left? So um, we will do that next and we will compare the prices at Walmart and see what did I save by going ahead and getting these loss leaders at these stores. So I had children in here doing snack. You know what we're having for snack? Oranges. <laughs> Because they were on sale last week. Oranges and almonds, too. So, okay. Let's look at this list here. What I've done is I have uh, listed the items that I did purchase on sale this week. Or just the items that I purchased. The price that I paid. And then if I had bought these in Walmart, what is the price that I would have paid there? So, and then we're going to go through under here and see what my savings actually was. If it was worthwhile or not. Um, as a comparison here, chicken drumsticks, it was, it was almost 11 pounds actually in those two packages of drumsticks from 10 box. And I do want to say I have figured in that 10% upcharge that 10 box adds in there in my prices here. So I paid $8.64. The equivalent at Walmart would have been $12.76. The Roma tomatoes that I got from 10 box were, you know, a little bit of a savings there. $1.34 versus $2. The avocados were a savings. They're at Aldi versus Walmart, $15.60. The Gala apples, those were a good deal. You know, almost, almost doubled in price if I got them at Walmart, $3.98 versus $7.72. The cheddar cheese was a good deal. I paid $14.95 for those five pounds. And at Walmart would have been $18.40. There's the peanut butter, $4.95 versus $9.20. Those salad kits, the markdown there at Kroger. So I did get eight of the bags. $14.88 is what I paid with that reduced sticker on there. And at Walmart, I would have paid $31.84. So that's just crazy. And then the grain-free uh, chips, $5.67 is what I paid out of pocket for those three bags. Look at Walmart, $14.82. Just wild. So here were my costs here. Here's what I paid out of pocket, $66.21. And then at Walmart, it would have tallied up to $112.34 which gives me a savings of $46.13 for this week. And I do want to say too, if I was able to get that chuck roast at 10 box, this number would have been a lot higher. So if we can go back and get a couple of those chuck roasts, um, yeah, this would have dramatically changed, I believe. So at this point, we're gonna go through and see what do I have left? to feed all these people for the rest of the pay period because my husband gets paid on the 10th of each month. Um, we have to make it through February 9th at this point because he will get another paycheck on February 10th and uh, we'll just see what we have left. Okay guys, here we go. Let's see what's left and then I have a challenge for it's a little over a month. And I'm going to get into that in just a minute. 
something that I would like to do and I want to see if you guys will help me with it but we'll see okay I'll get to that let me do this first okay so I said at the beginning of the video I had that run in to get the uh, out of stock items so we started this grocery haul here at $662.46. My grand total out of pocket for 10 box Aldi and Kroger, the items we just went through on the table, was $73.94, which leaves me right now with $588.52. So what needs to come out of that? Like I said, we have to make it through February 9th. Um, we have one more week of sale ads to get through, buying the Lost Leaders, just like this one here. I have some things I do need to get at Sam's Club. However, I do not believe we're going to make it to the store uh, before this pay period ends, so I am going to order some things online. So I do hope to share the Sam's Club, a smaller Sam's Club haul with you guys. And there's an Azure Standard haul that needs to come out of this as well. $588.52 for those three things. I think I can still do that. I think that's doable. Um, we actually had two Azure Standard orders for this pay period just because of the way the scheduling fell. But I think it's okay. I don't think it's that big of a deal. And I think we'll make it just fine, but I'll keep up to date with you guys. And if I do go back and get the chuck roast from 10 box that was out of stock, um, you know, I'll update you on that coming out of the budget as well. Okay. Our one year anniversary is coming up soon. Um, I've been looking it up. Our very first video was posted March 11th, 2023. And today is February 1st. I'm filming this on February 1st. So in a little over a month, we will have our one year anniversary. And we are right now today at 22,850 subscribers, which is wild. <laughs> in, in less than a year, that is wild. And I'm very thankful for all you guys that are subscribed to our family's channel. I think it would be a challenge. This, was, this is not going to be something that happens easily, guys. We're going to have to work for this. I would like to get to 24,000 subscribers by our one-year anniversary on March 11th. So, <laughs> I need your help. If you guys could help tell people about our channel and get those numbers going, 25,000 would be great, but <sighs> I'm an optimistic person. But that just seems a little out of the realm of reality for me. It would be awesome if we could blow the numbers out of the water. But my goal is 24,000. And if you guys could help me with that, would really, really, really appreciate it. So I heard a baby screaming outside. So now I'm distracted, wondering what's going on out there. If those were happy screams or I'm mad screams. But um, I'll go check on that. I guess this is the end of the video here. Be sure to like and subscribe and please please share guys sure do appreciate it i'm gonna go check on my baby real quick and i will see you all on the next video thank you and love you guys so much bye bye what was going on baby i heard you hollering <laughs> i hear daisy hollering too back there she's back there you got the hiccups too. So you're okay? Do you hear a motorcycle? What's that? And you hear them birds? What is that? What is that? Yeah. Can you tell everybody, say, bye guys. Bye guys. <laughs> Abigail says bye guys. The sun's going down. We gotta go inside and have supper. Yeah, you should have seen it. It was like all pink and purple. Was it? Going around. Yeah. I should get that on video. You should've. That would have been pretty to share with everybody, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Come with me. Come with me. Where are we going? Up there. I saw Sam up there. Back over there. Tiny bit of pink. Yeah, there's not much pink of the sunset left.
She's walking right through the mucky mud. Look at that. <laughs> Get a stick and poke it in the mud. Thanks for watching.